I tested YouTube's new promotions feature to find the cheapest way to buy 1,000 subscribers. Now you can find this feature by going to your YouTube studio, then coming down to content. Then you wanna come across to the promotions tab. Now before we create a promotion, it's important to know that in order to make money on YouTube, you need to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Now the reason I bring this up is because in this text, it says subscribers and watch time earned through a promotion will not count towards the monetization requirements. But I actually found something I wanna share with you that means our YouTube promotions will bypass this and our subscribers will count towards the monetization program and it's not even against YouTube's terms and conditions. So to create a promotion, what we're gonna do is click get started. From there, it's gonna ask you to create a Google Ads account, which you can just follow the steps and do that. And at the end of those prompts, you're gonna end up with a screen that looks like this. You're gonna click on add to select a video from your videos list. And what's gonna happen when we run our promotion out, YouTube's gonna give it more exposure in little ads that kind of look like this right here. And when people click on these ads, they'll be taken to your YouTube video. Now we're gonna hit next. Here we can select which countries we want our ads to be shown in. We can also click on this drop down and select what language we want our viewers to be speaking. And then when you hit next, the final thing you'll have to do is choose how much money you want to spend. And later in this video, we'll talk about how much money you should be spending to get a thousand subscribers. But from here, all you'd have to do is hit promote and all of a sudden you'd have a new promotion live on your channel. But that's where I was going wrong in the beginning. Because at this point, me and my students have run five or six of these campaigns. And we found that the right combination of settings can be the difference between spending $12 or over $270 for the same 1,000 subscribers. And let me show you what I mean because I've found that YouTube promotions are so broken right now. If you can take advantage of them, it's literally the fastest, cheapest way to get subscribers that I've ever seen. And here's what I mean by that. So this is one of the first promotions that I've run. And if I come in here and click on the pencil icon, we can see exactly how I set this up. Now for this promotion, I targeted people who were in Canada, the United Kingdoms and the United States. And those viewers had to be speaking English. Two weeks later. And after running this promotion, after two weeks, here's what the results look like. Again, we spent a hundred bucks to get about 1.5K views, meaning it cost us about $63 to get 1,000 views. We also got 241 subscribers, meaning that it cost us about $415 to get 1,000 subscribers. Now this was okay, but I wasn't all that impressed. So I came back to this channel and I ran another promotion. And in this new promotion, what I wanted to do was give YouTube the opportunity to send my video to whoever it thought would be most relevant and would get me the best results. So what I did was I added in every single country that you can add, excluding Argentina, because for some reason, Argentina hate my videos and don't want to run them as ads. And also in languages, I deselected English. And that essentially means this campaign's going out to everyone and anyone at the discretion of the YouTube algorithm. And here were the results. So I spent $102 to get 7,451 views. That means to get 1,000 views, it's going to cost me $13.82. A hell of a lot less than our initial $63, right? And it gets better because for subscribers, my promotion got 710 of them, meaning that now instead of costing me $415 to get 1,000 subscribers, it's only costing me $145. But then I had another idea because not long ago, I created a video where I bought 5 million views on YouTube. And in that video, one of the methods I discovered was creating Google ad campaigns that just send your videos to countries that have very low CPMs. What this means is that it's very cheap to advertise in those countries because usually the population in those countries have less buying power, just the messenger here. So then I ran another YouTube promotion. However, this time what I did was I targeted the low value countries that I found in the initial video I just mentioned. Again, no hate against these countries. I'm just the messenger here, but these countries have the lowest CPM. But what I also did to keep it a bit more targeted was add in the language requirement of English. So even though people in say Estonia could have my video promoted to them, YouTube would have to know that they're decent English speakers in order for that to happen. And this is where things start to get fun because I spent $100 and got 10,000 views. Now that means that for 1,000 views, it's only costing me about $9.71. I also got 970 subscribers, almost a thousand subscribers from this one $100 promotion. Meaning that using this method, I would only have to spend $103 to get our 1,000 subscribers. Now at this point, I didn't know that there was a way to get these subscribers to actually count towards monetizing our YouTube channel. And I'll talk more about that in a sec because first, there's a bit of a problem here and that is all of the promotions I've currently been testing have been on the channel you're watching right now, which has a bunch of data, a bunch of existing viewers. And so theoretically, the algorithm is gonna have a better idea of who to send these promotions to because it has the data of all of my other YouTube videos to learn from. So I thought it'd only be fair if I take the exact same video I'm testing here and spend $100 on it on a brand new YouTube channel. And so that's what I did. I came over to good old Silky Plays, which had approximately eight 
extremely unactive subscribers. So I set up a promotion using the method that worked best on my previous channel, which is targeting those low CPM countries, but restricting our viewers based on whether or not they can speak English. Left it, set it to run for two weeks and didn't even look at it until a reminder came up on my calendar. I came back to the channel. I remember sitting down at my desk, leisurely flicking over to my YouTube channel and seeing this. Over 5,000 subscribers. And at this point, I'm like super skeptical because I'm like, no way that's actually possible. So I come to my YouTube studio, I go to promote, I see my promotion, I click into it and I see it's gotten 22,300 views which is the best result I've got so far. Even better than the promotions on my large channel, which should have all the data to be able to get cheaper views. But hang on a minute, it says 2,000 subscribers. How does that work? My channel has 5,000 subscribers apparently. So I thought maybe YouTube's just needing some time to catch up. So I gave it a couple of days, logged back into my channel, checked my live analytics. You can see here, I go from seven to eight subscribers, bam, up to over 5,000 subscribers from our promotion. And yet the promotion itself still says it's only generated me 2,000 subscribers. And that's what I started to get excited because I'm like, if YouTube is under attributing subscribers here to certain promotions, what else is broken? And so what I did was I came down to my earn tab where I can see how close I am to YouTube's monetization requirements. And believe it or not, I scroll down to eligibility and I see this number, 5,160 subscribers. And this beautiful full turquoise bar, isn't it majestic? Now, unfortunately, it looks like YouTube are true to their word in that the watch hours doesn't actually count towards your eligibility. So you're gonna have to get those ones on your own. But it seems like for now, unless YouTube patches this at some point, if they do, someone leave a comment down below so that other people don't waste their money. These subscribers still count towards the monetization and eligibility requirements. But that still doesn't explain what's going on with our subscribers here because we've got 5,160 subscribers, even though our promotion only says 2,000. And I made a post about it in the private Discord that just me and my YouTube students have. Being like, hey guys, look what I found. If we actually look at the numbers here, again, we spent 100 bucks. We got over 22,000 views which means we're spending about $4.48 per 1,000 views. We also got, according to promotions, 2,028 subscribers, but in reality, we actually got 256% more subscribers than YouTube thinks we did, and that means that on average, it's costing us about $19 per 1,000 subscribers. And a couple of my students jumped on this as well, and I wanted to show you two of their results. Now, if we look at Pete's channel, his promotion said that he got 213 subscribers. But when you actually look at his analytics, you can see that he got 414 subscribers, which is a 194% increase on what this stat says. Meaning for him, it's gonna cost about $47 to get 1,000 subscribers. Another one of my students, Tony, spent 100 bucks, got 7,000 views, supposedly, according to YouTube promotions, got 592 subscribers. But in reality, when we checked his analytics, he actually got 1,021 subscribers, which is 172% more. And on average, he was paying about $99 per 1,000 subscribers. Now, Pete and Tony's results are quite a bit more expensive than mine. And the reason for this is that, no offense to them, but I think my thumbnail and video is a little bit higher quality, which is understandable. I've been doing this for a lot longer than them, meaning I was able to convert a lot more viewers. And so the cost of my promotion is less, which again, is nothing against them. That's the whole reason they're in my private community so that I can teach them how to be better and that's what we're working on. But overall, what these experiments have uncovered for us is that there seems to be a subscriber attribution drift where on average, YouTube actually sends us about 200% more subscribers than it thinks it is. And those subscribers stick around as well. So I actually ran these promotions like a month ago and waited to create this video because I thought maybe they'd just all disappear, but they haven't, they're still there. And so summary, after running all of these tests on my channels, on students' channels and spending hundreds of dollars, do I think buying a thousand subscribers with YouTube promotions is worth it for you. Well, firstly, if you are gonna run promotions, you wanna do it by targeting low CPM countries, which you can go back earlier in this video, I'll leave a timestamp on screen to see what those countries I was targeting were, and then select your language as English, and that's gonna get you the cheapest result. But just because you're getting cheap legal subscribers doesn't necessarily mean it's actually doing anything to your channel long-term. What me and my students found across the board is that people who subscribe to you through a YouTube promotion, regardless of the method you use, are really inactive. However, in saying that if you want the best chance of buying active subscribers, the targeted method where you target just the countries that most of your viewers are actually from actually got us the highest sub rate, which is the amount of people who subscribe to our channel per view, which is of 31%, which means that on average, if we get a hundred views on this type of promotion, we're going to get 31 subscribers. And as you can see, this is substantially higher than all the other methods we tested. However, in saying that, don't expect anything to crash hot in your analytics. This is the analytics of one of the videos we ran 
and promotions on, as you can see, the average view duration is shocking. Even though this video got 22,000 views, by the time we reached 30 seconds, only 10% of those people are actually still watching. And by the time we reach about five minutes and 30 seconds, literally all of them have clicked off. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, well, Marcus, is that just a terrible video? Here is this exact same video posted on my channel with some organic traffic. So the blue line here is the organic traffic, the pink and orange lines are our paid traffic. And what you can see is that at about 30 seconds, we still have about 60% of our organic traffic. By the time we get to the end of our seven minute video, we still have about 25% of our organic audience still watching, which don't get me wrong, it's not the best retention in the world, but it's nothing that deserves a retention graph like this. Another thing we looked at when analyzing all these promotions is did doing promotions kickstart the algorithm to start sending us views organically? What I I found pretty much across the board was no, it won't. But I also found that buying promotions doesn't seem to kill your organic growth either. So all this being said, should you actually spend your hard earned money on YouTube promotions? Well, the biggest revelation in this whole study is that the subscribers gained through promotions actually do count towards your monetization requirements. So maybe you already have 3000 or 4000 watch hours, but you're just waiting on your subscriber count to catch up so you can apply for monetization. In that circumstance, I would definitely take advantage of the state of promotions right now, spend a few bucks stat padding and get monetized in 48 hours so you can just start making money. But other than that, unless you just have like a bit of cash to splash around, you want to improve your friends. I think your money is probably better spent on tools, equipment, or education that's actually going to help you make better videos that will then naturally trigger the algorithm, which is a big step towards the place where YouTube is going to start recommending your content organically. So in saying all that, if you want to learn how to get way more watch hours on your videos, so you can hit that 4,000 hour requirement and then just buy your subscribers to monetization, I've got a video on screen wholly dedicated to just teaching you how to get more watch hours on a small YouTube channel. So check that out and I'll see you there.